Okay, DC, let's move into our next fight preview. We got Anthony Joshua facing off against Joseph Parker, March the 31st, 2018 in Cardiff. And we want to see, you know, we're going to preview this fight. This is the second time we're previewing it, by the way. You know, we did a, a, a previous one when I was uh, just by myself, when I just had the idea to say, let's do one. I know you have some thoughts that you want to throw in there, too, on this fight. You got, and let me line them up first of all. You got Anthony Joshua, the number one best, the number one heavyweight fighter in the uh, in the world, carrying three belts, three championship belts, uh, obviously into this bout. And uh, he is twenty and zero with twenty knockouts. You know he's from the United Kingdom. A lot of people in the U.S. don't know about Anthony Joshua, but trust me, by the end of this year, you're gonna know who Anthony Joshua is. Uh, because Deontay Wilder and him definitely gonna get something done by the end of this year. A because people ain't know about Lennox Lewis either. Until he go, magically jumped on the radar. Right. They, they, you gonna know who Anthony Joshua is. If you don't know who Anthony Joshua is, you got a damn smartphone. Google his name because this guy here is awesome. 20, 20 knockouts, uh, twenty fights, twenty knockouts. So everybody get in the ring, get get destroyed. Sound like somebody you might know from the United States. Not as many fights, being that Deontay. Has twenty more knockouts. Oh, I thought you were talking about Joshua. Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> Man, knockout power, both hands, complete boxer. That's who Andy Joshua kind of reminds me of. I mean, he does. It might in, in a way to a d- degree. Let's to the comments Mike Tyson right. made about him. To the it, pretty interesting. Anyway, Andy Joshua holds three belts. He's the IBO heavyweight title holder. He's a WBA. Super World Heavyweight title holder, and he's the IBF, the International Boxing Federation World Heavyweight title holder. Three belts he holds, and he is going up against Mr. Joseph Parker, interesting guy here. From New Zealand. From New Zealand. He's quite Probably the best boxer they ever had from New Zealand. Probably so. Well, he knocked out an old man... uh, Oh, from man, down that was, there, uh, that was messed up, man. I can't. Frank, Frank, that, Frank, Frank Wabotha. That fat Francois guy, with, Botha. the fat guy with no hair. Francois Botha. He knocked out Francois Botha. <laughs> Weird and, and stuff, cool. man. Yeah, that was, he that knocked was him out. Up, but man. yeah, that was something bad. It's but bad. Andy Joshua going against Joseph Parker. This man's twenty-four and 0, 18 knockouts. So you got these big heavyweights. Joshua six foot six with an eighty-three inch reach, and then you got a guy like Joseph Parker who is six foot four. With a 76 inch reach You got these big heavyweights And all of these guys is just exciting in, in heavyweight division now With Ortiz who was undefeated You got Deontay who's undefeated You got Joshua who's undefeated Then you got Anthony Parker Who's 24 and 0 18 knockouts And this guy is, is Like we say he's from New Zealand He's also a heavyweight title holder He is he holds the WBO The, the World Boxing Organization World heavyweight title. So we have four belts in this fight alone between these guys. Right. By the end of the day, uh, the 31st that night, you'll have a guy holding four heavyweight belts. So one belt away from unifying the heavyweight division uh, is definitely possible. And if you look at it, DC, I lined it all up as, uh, uh, as, as, as Parker, an excellent fighter as well, fought some really good uh, boxers. With that said, what is your thinking on these two great fighters? Who comes out the winner? Um, I think this fight is going to be similar to the. I know you Wilder didn't get a chance Ortiz to speak your, your piece. Go ahead and right. Speak it. I think it's going to be similar to the the Wilder Ortiz fight. I think it's going to be an excellent fight. Parker is not a guy to really overlook. I mean, he's from New Zealand. Of course, we us here in America, we don't hear a lot about these guys until they make it onto the radar. But if you follow his career, I mean, 24 fights, 18 knockouts. Uh, he don't had a 100% knockout rate like Anthony Joshua, but Correct. that's still very impressive. He fought some bums, and he's fought a lot of good fighters too. Um, he actually has the sentiments of a champion, Evander Holyfield, really likes Parker. And he's telling he Anthony does. Joshua to not overlook him. Right. This this guy is, is the real deal. And from what I see him, man, he has a very uh, unique style. He's a traditional boxer. He's orthodox, but he can hit you with some type like weird angles. He tears people up with hooks. Uh, he he coming with them hooks, man, trying to take your head off. He throws uppercuts in the whole nine. Like he gets in and he goes to work. This guy throws combos and his shots are hard. So 
he ain't no little dude either. We talk about how big Andy Joshua is, how menacing he is, as hard as punches is. Parker ain't nobody you want to overlook. So Andy Joshua has a similar fight to what Deontay Wilder has. I don't think he's going to come in here and just stay clean the whole fight and look um, basically untouchable. If he does, it'll be pretty amazing. Then I'll have a whole nother line of respect for Andy Joshua. But I think this is a fight that's actually going to challenge him, um, push him to think, push him to be cautious and use that incredible skill as being a tactician that he is to um, use the sweet science. I think we're going to see some figuring each other out uh, with these guys moving on into the middle rounds. You start to see the action pick up and somebody going to fall. <laughs> this ain't going to be no fight. I think that goes to the to the uh, the twelfth round on the cards. Somebody's going down. It could be Andy Joshua. We know he's hitting the match before. It came from a champion, uh, Vladimir Klitschko. But Parker is a guy that's capable in, in giving him a serious challenge and possibly putting him on the mat as well. So, um, in my opinion, I think Andy Joshua wins this fight, and it's based on him. What happens? It's all in his court. And based on how he views the fight, if he comes out cocky and arrogant and tries to give the people a show, he could be in for a rude awakening. But if he uses that boxing mind that he has, I don't think that he loses this fight. But Parker, on the other hand, is a guy that could pull off the upset. He's a very impressive fighter when you follow his footage and his tape. I haven't seen a punch that he can't land. Um, He has a nice size and reach um, to match Andy Joshua. And he can take some shots as well. So this is going to be a very interesting fight. But I see Andy Joshua winning this fight round the eight round um, for a knockout. I had called this, you know, this fight before. You already seen my sentiment. I said, saying, I said and I'm going to stick to it just like I said for the Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz fight, that he was going, that they was going to beat him in a late, a late round uh, TKO situation. Right. Uh in this fight, I'm going to say the same thing because both these guys going to get in there they're going to figure each other out. It's a similar fight, man. It's, 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 it's very, sim- very yeah. similar. Both these guys going to do the same thing. And I just, I just, you, if you look at it, I think about it, I say, you know what? I look at the resume of a guy like Joseph Parker and I say to myself, uh, Anthony Joshua is a far distance from Huey Fury from Andy Ruiz Jr., right. from Alexander Dimitrico, which I actually like Alexander Dimitrico, the Russian heavyweight that got. He's a pretty good one, and he just kind of beat him up pretty good. So that's a far cry, and I'm going to give it to Anthony Joshua because I think Joshua punches are going to mount up on him, but right. I think eventually he's going to knock him out in the later round. So that's how I called on that fight, Parker versus Joshua. March the 31st, 2018. Y'all have it ready. Y'all have your popcorn ready because it's going to be another explosive heavyweight fight as well. And speaking of more heavyweight bouts, we're going to cover the Carnelo Carnelo Alvarez versus Triple G bout. We'll preview it uh, on the other side of the break. We'll also give you some news that uh, Carnelo Alvarez tested dirty. We'll give you that news on the side of the break. Listen to the sports call. 